Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about everything you guys need to know about the brand new Peach Cobbler Fortnite Tournament. Okay, so probably the most important thing you guys are going to need to know about this is that it starts tomorrow, September 6th, and it goes from 8pm to 10pm. Now, there's two rounds to this tournament, and it's only two hours long, so you're going to be able to play seven matches. Now, in those seven matches, if you end up getting top 5,000, you're going to be able to advance to the next round to compete for some money. Here's the money you guys can win from qualifying from round one and making it to round two. Now that I talked to you guys about the basics of starting this tournament, let's talk about how you guys can actually make it to round two and get a chance to compete for some money. So let's talk about the scoring. So here's what the scoring looks like. Feel free to pause the video and look at it if you guys want to. So this is the scoring for the tournament. As you can see for a victory royale, you get 65 points, meaning this tournament is very placement heavy. Also meaning if you guys camp, you guys have a pretty good shot. And kills aren't even worth that many points because since this is duos, you only get one point per kill. Meaning for a duo wipe, you get two points. So every duo you kill is two points. So honestly, playing safe is the best way to go. If you guys want to bring out the bush camp dad in you, that's going to be the best way to do it. So since the tournament is very placement heavy, even if you're not that skilled or if you play on an old gen console or even Nintendo Switch, you guys don't really have to worry about that, especially for qualifying. Now when it comes to finals, you guys are probably going to have to fight, especially towards some end games and even win a few games here and there. But, I mean, again, you, even if you play on a console or an old gen that just doesn't run as much FPS as you would like it to, you guys still got a pretty good chance. And, I mean, honestly, this tournament doesn't seem too difficult to win since you get 65 points just for winning the game. Meaning all the placements up until then are giving you places and scoring, so this helps out a lot. Now, if you're more of a competitive player and you like to frag out and fight everybody um, you're gonna have a harder chance trying to win this tournament if you're just going for kills because obviously you have a better chance of dying if you're doing so so I mean if you could get that ADHD out of you and just sit in a bush or a box and just chill you're most likely gonna qualify unless you sell most of your games now the second thing is especially since this tournament is so placement heavy what you guys are going to want to do is find a solid drop spot. Now, if you guys don't have a solid drop spot, I'm going to let you guys know where me and my duo land. Uh, we actually end up landing Brawler's Battlegrounds. Now, Brawler's is a very good spot because it has over 10 barrels there that can heal you for 100 shield. It also has those Avenger chests. It has at least 4 Avenger chests there, which makes it really good. There are Slurp Cactuses around the area. Meaning if you get pretty low and you don't feel like using health, you can go for some slurp cactuses without using shields and wasting your resources. Um, there's a lot of hills and places you can rotate. There's launch pads towards that side of that area. And I just find it really easy to rotate out of brawlers. So, I mean, those are all the tips I have for you guys to qualify. If you guys need any more tips or tricks, let me know down below. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.